What's up creators, it's your boy, Mad Mike. On today's episode, we're gonna be throwing some new rims and tires on the 1973 Plymouth Barracuda AAR Tribute Car Project Car. I can't do much, because um, I still got my hurt finger. I took my fingertip off a couple weeks ago, so I've only been able to use one hand, but I'm slowly getting back to doing some wrenching. I picked up these new wheels for the car, and we're gonna slap them on, see if they fit number one and see how they look. So stay tuned, check it out. So here we have my 1973 Plymouth Barracuda that we're turning into a AAR tribute car. We got the AAR hood on there. We got the AAR spoiler on the back. We got a couple of Kudas in here, but uh, anyways, this one here is the one that I'm working on now. So I'm gonna keep it with the 73 taillights. I don't care about swapping over the valence panel to make it like a 70, 71. I actually prefer the round taillights. But with all that being said, this is a car and we're gonna be slapping some new wheels on it. I do dig the old kind of slotted mags or the rally wheels like we have on this Kuda over here. But that's pretty old school and I'm gonna turn this one here into kind of like a Hellcat looking resto mod. We are putting a 440 with a carb on it, so it's not a full resto mod car, but we will be adding some things to it, suspension, maybe like a four link, all disc brakes all the way around, and these wheels. So let's go check out these wheels and uh, I'll give you a sneak peek. They're in the back of the truck. So I'm kind of going for like this Hellcat looking style build on this car here. I really love the look of the Hellcats and the red eyes and just the big 20 inch wheels with a wide body stance. We might end up doing a wide body on this car here. So check out the rims I just picked up. Boom. Look at these things. They are 20 inch, 275 wide. Um, front and back are all 275. So they need new rubber. They've been burnt down from uh, I believe they are mounted to a Chrysler 300C. So they are a Chrysler product. They're a five by 115 bolt pattern. The CUDA is five by 114.3 or five by four and a half. So we're about 0.7 millimeters from making these fit. So I might have to get some hub centric rings and try to make them work, but I'm gonna make them work. Even if I have to run adapters to get them to push out from the body so I can do a wide body on the car. I'm fine with that. Let's go ahead, get these out of the car, and uh, we'll jack up the CUDA and see if they fit and see if they go over top of the hubs that are on the CUDA. Who knows? This is a big uh, guessing game right now. All right, so we got the Cuda all pushed out of the carport. That was a bit of a mission. Um, she was kind of sunken down into the grass there, but we got it out here. The front end is sitting really high right now just because I got the engine out. Uh, not a big deal. We're gonna be shoving that 440 in and that should be dropping the front end of the car down quite substantially. Um, we can also loosen off the torsion bars, drop it down some more, and then for the rear end, we might do like a four link conversion on it and we can adjust the height with some coilovers on the rear end. But we got the Cuda pushed outside so you guys can get a little bit of a glimpse of what it looks like before I try to throw these new wheels on. Don't know if they're gonna fit or not. Let's go ahead, get the wheels out of the back of the truck and see what we can make happen. I hope they fit because I am so pumped to see if, what they look like.
got the old slotted mags off. Let's go ahead, roll one of these nice big 20 inch wheels underneath and see if it fits over top of the uh, center bore. And with the five by 115 bolt pattern, if it even mates up with the five by 114.3, see what happens. Well, I might have just got lucky because that plopped right in place. They fit great. They will need a hub centric ring though because that 0.7 millimeters is gonna cause a bit of vibration at higher speeds, but they do fit over top the five by 114 bolt pattern. So I need to find some nuts now because with the old slot of mags I had, I used the old washer kind of location nut style thing. So I gotta find some Nuts that'll work on these wheels here, but check that out. That's not bad for fitment. Even sitting inside the wheel well there, looks pretty good. I could almost run a bit of a spacer or a wheel adapter if I needed to, but that fits pretty nice in there. And it doesn't look stupid either. Like sometimes when you put big 20 inch wheels on old muscle cars, it just doesn't look right. But there's something about this that screams Hellcat and I dig it. Let's go ahead and try to find some nuts. All right, so we got the passenger side rear tire on. I had to go and rob some lug knots off of the 74 Cuda that we had. I'm missing a bunch of half inch thread nuts but i'll put at least three or four on and that should hold the wheels on but man i am super stoked with the way that those are looking and inside here we have the 74 cuda and it is just slammed looking pretty cool man this one here i just got some old shocks on the front there's no motor in this car here either and when i bought the house and we car trailered it over here i hit a bump and the ratchet straps sucked the whole front end down and the shocks just stayed compressed. So this car is tucked right now. But comment below, what hood do you guys like better? The rally hood or the AAR hood? Do you guys have a preference? This is pretty classic looking, but uh, I kind of like the AAR hood myself, but leave a comment below, let me know what you guys like. And as you can see here, I got a bunch of nice lug nuts on these rally wheels. I've already gone ahead and stole a couple off this back rim here. So yeah, three nuts, that should be fine. Let's rob some uh, off the front of this one here and throw the other back tire on then we'll see if the front will fit. Interior is looking good. I gotta roll up the windows and close it all off so no cats or anything crawling inside there. Over there we got the 76 El Camino that we're putting a Cuda front end on. We're calling this one here the El Cuda. Just roughed in right now. And then we got the 1986 Pontiac Fiero Ferrari kit car. That's gonna be coming into the shop soon. But the Cuda is priority right now. Let's get that other wheel on. I did pop the trunk and I got lucky. I found a couple of lug nuts inside here. So that was a score, but I might be short a couple for the front. Definitely got a couple cars around here that I can rob some nuts off of to get all these rims on this car here.
right, so we managed to get the back wheels on. Time to uh, try to get the front ones on, but I think I'm gonna have a bit of a problem with the hubs out front. So I gotta try to pop the center cap off the 20 inch rims and see if they'll fit over top the hub on the front. Hopefully I get lucky, because if not, I might have to do a wheel adapter or something. So let's get after it. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. So on the front rims, they got the uh, bearing assembly inside here, and this width here, along with this cap here, might not work with this location in here. So hopefully I get lucky, but I don't know. This is about probably an inch here, and this is probably about an inch and a quarter plus the cap. But we're gonna try punching out that cap. Oh, well that was easy. And uh, hopefully the bearing will fall right through there and we'll be able to mount them up. Hopefully the studs are long enough too. Okay, so it's not gonna work, unfortunately. Might have to go to a machine shop and try to get them to machine the center of these rims out. Uh, my other option would be to, when I do my disc brake conversion, I might go with some Will Woods or whatnot. But this distance here is, oh, I'd say an inch and a half, an inch and three quarters. So that's not gonna work because the studs are behind that. And if you look at the rim here, this is only about an inch here, so this whole lip inside here has got to get machined out. Whether I take a grinder, die grinder to that, and machine that out, that'll be some work, but I'm gonna to have to do something to make these fit. Let's just throw them up here, just to see how they line up, and see what I'm up against. That's a bummer. All right, so I'm gonna try something here. I still got about a half inch of gap between the rotor and the back side of the rim. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use these studs that I had on the slotted mags, and uh, that'll at least be able to hold the wheel on. But yeah, at some point I'm gonna have to grind out that center bit and get a hub-centric ring or something. But let's go ahead, I wanna see what it looks like with all the four tires and rims on. The mosquitoes are horrible out here tonight, so let's use these nuts and uh, get these front tires on. All right, so I got three studs in the front rim. It's going like this because it's not hitting the back uh, of the rotor against the back of the rim. Not a big deal. I want to see what it looks like with all four on. It's going to sit super high in the front because there's 20 inch rims on the front. So it's not going to be like this. It's going to be like that. Kind of looking like a donk car and there's no weight in the front because the motor's out of it. But at least we can get a rough visual of how it's going to look like with all four rims and tires on. If you're wondering why it looks so weird trying to put the tires and rims on with one arm, it's because I cut my fingertip off of my left hand working on another uh, commuter car there that I have in the Mad Lab. But uh, it's kind of awkward, so I'm trying to be careful with this finger here because it's still pretty sensitive. But let's throw this one here on, let the jack down, and see how the car looks with all four 20 inch rims and tires on. All right, there you have it. I got all four 20 inch Chrysler 300C 275 wide tires on the 1973 Plymouth Cuda. Let's go ahead, drop the front jack down, see how it sits. Again, it's gonna sit a little funny, but I don't care. I just wanna get a good visual and I wanna see what I have to do to modify to make these rims fit perfectly. So let's go ahead, drop the front jack down and see how the car looks. And there you guys and girls have it. On the first one to put 20 inch Chrysler 300 rims and tires onto a 1973 Plymouth Cuda. Fitment wise, 
we're getting there. I gotta do some heavy modifications to the front hub area, but other than that, the back uh, fits perfect. Might go ahead and get some adapters, maybe like a inch or inch and a half adapter. That way they come out a little bit more, and that way I don't have to probably deal with machining out the rim on the front. But I'll walk you guys around the car, check it out. Comment below, let me know what you guys think. It is sitting like a donk car right now, I'll tell you that much. I belong down in Florida or something. This car here needs a Hellcat motor, maybe a Red Eye, maybe a Demon motor. Even just a 5.7 Hemi would be pretty cool on this, but the 440 I got, that I got out of a motorhome, I think will be pretty fitting in here, but to make this more of a daily driving car, I think a 5.7 or a Hellcat motor would be a good swap. Before I show you guys this, let's go ahead, go inside the Mad Lab here. This is the car I was working on that I cut my finger off on. I had my finger behind the rim there, and when I spun it around, caught the caliper and shoot it right off. But behind here is, let me get the light here. Oh, we got a Harley there. Sweet, sweet. All right, behind that car we have the 440. She's all painted up. Got the new 727 transmission on the back there. So that's what's going inside the 73 Cuda. We'll run this until it gives me problems or until I'm lucky enough to find a Hellcat motor or a 5.7 for a good deal. But yeah, we're gonna rock this 440 that I got out of the motorhome and the Cuda for the time being. So let's go outside and give you guys a little walk around here. Sitting a little funny right now too because the ground is like this, back end's in a big hole. But once I get all the suspension done and the motor back in, get it sitting nice and low, nice and level. I am so pumped on that. Got all the quarter panels for the car, frame rails, a complete rear end with all the frame rails, trunk pan, uh, trunk extensions, all that stuff attached in one unit. So once I'm all healed up and I got the Mad Lab all cleared out and wired up because right now we don't have any uh, electrical in there, it's got a big extension cord. So once the electrical is done and I'm all healed up, this CUDA is going to be coming inside the Mad Lab and we're going to start doing all the restoration work on it, getting it ready for a limelight paint job, AAR, stripes down the side, satin black hood. This car is going to be mean. I'm digging that.